Alright. 211 in sequence. All right, we're going to recheck them. 211. They're probably loose in the middle. Yep. Now we got to loosen them. Six foot pounds. All right, recheck the ninety six. Now 90 degrees. Whew, let me catch my breath. Too old for that. But I've learned from experience. Even though I did the torque turn method here, all these head bolts have been turned down degrees. That it bust off somewhere around 375. That just gives me a guide. On the engines with smaller head bolts like the Cummins and the John Deere, you can actually feel that yield. Torque to yield. You can feel it with the bolt almost without ever having to look at the 90 degree turn. You can tell you got it just by, you'll feel that bolt spring. But these fat bolts on the cat, they don't really, they don't really operate like that. So I put the torque wrench about 375 and it's usually dead on. All right, I got all the push tubes in there except for number two exhaust and number three intake. They won't quite fit in the position of the cam. And I like to do it like that because the way the cat's made with those cam followers, the, the push tubes just rest right up on top. And if they're out of place, they'll fall. So if you try to put all 12 of those things in the cam followers and then put the, the valve rack on there, it uh, it's more trouble than it's worth so i do them one at a time and then i'll be able to put the other two in when i do the do the 360 degree rotation for the second valve set exhaust 25 thousandths and the intake's 15 thousandths
Now I got to roll it 360. Coming up on it. That valve, exhaust valve is closing on number one. Exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake. All right, that's a wrap on that. That's it for today. I got to get on back to the shop and put out some fires.